Hey guys, Emery99 here and today we will play the Olympic Games individual time trial race on our channel. Olympics are in Paris this year and both time trial and road race will be very exciting and let's see if we can win gold with Josh Tarling in Pro Cycling Manager 24. And you might ask, Olympics isn't really in the game. Yes, it's not in the Pro Cycling Manager as a game. Uh, but how will I play it? So, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. First, I downloaded the Olympic stage that Barna and Welshman made. I added it as a variant to a, a race that is not World or European Championship. So, in this case, I chose Breton Classic because it's in France. Then go to Start List, which I can do here. Clicking on Options, Modding and Start List and create a Start List for the Breton Classic in which will be the road race itself. While creating the start list, I assigned each nation start list to a team. And you can see in the screen, Filippo Ganna, I assigned it to uh, Politico Meta, an Italian team, because for Ineos Grenadiers, I assigned the Great Britain riders to that. So, yeah, that's the option that you have to do. And then I went to the database editor and clicked each rider to be their national champion. So when I play 3D race, they will all have their national championship jerseys, which kind of replicates the national team jerseys in a, in a good way. So yeah, that's how you can also play it on your own. And yeah, looking at the favorites, obviously, Everpool, Ghana and Valfenaat will be the big three that we're going up against. But I have full trust in Josh Tarling. And we are underway in the Paris Olympics with Eiffel Tower behind our back. Soren Varenschgold is about to start. Ethan Hayter will be the first man to start for us. And then it will be Josh Tarling fighting for the medals here in the Paris Olympics. Okay, we're about to start with Ethan Hayter. Unfortunately, a minus two day for him. So just the 75 time trial. We're going to try to go 78 all out through this parkour. I mean, looking at the parkour, it's 35 kilometer time trial. Um, a lot of ups and downs, actually. So a micromanagement is needed. So, for example, in this downhill, I'm just going to go 74 to kind of preserve my energy a little bit. And then when the road flattens, I'm going to go 78. And when it rises, I'm maybe going to reach 80 and maybe sometimes even 85 here in the streets of Paris. Yeah, I think we're near the national park here. Maybe something else. It says Chateau de Vincennes. Somewhere a chateau nearby, maybe, but Eaton Hater 20 seconds down on the riders. Actually, three guys at the same time. But very much expected. So here's the chateau I just spotted. Yeah, Eaton Hater not on a good day today. By the way, the equipments look absolute fire. Thanks to the World DB always keeping up with the equipment pack and the final equipment. The Pinarello looks absolutely awesome. So does the wheels. We also have Amir Aslan Ansari riding for the Olympic refugee team actually in the Olympics in the game. If you actually download the quality of life pack, you'll also see the Afghanistan flag and also Saim Bayar in the Mongolia kit of Burgos. Aiton Hater through the finish line he goes. He's going to be 42 seconds down on current leader that is Stefan Bissiger. Now we go all the way back and see Wout van Aert is about to start and Stefan Kung an outsider for today and Josh Tarling with a minus one as well. He's got yeah 81 time trial so it's all time trial stat this one. Maybe the flat is also important but we got 78 flat 81 time trial. And yeah, we're going to start 79 here. A little bit of micromanagement. Filippo Ganna and after that will be the Remco Evenepoel, the world champion, finishing things off here. Tarling in real life is the odds on favorite to win, but with a minus two, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated as we have this road that is ridden both on the start and en route to the finish. Makes for funny viewing a little bit. Okay, Valve for that's time will be telling a little bit of what the pace is at the moment. Just 1630 of Magnus Sheffield. So it's been, um, yeah, not the fastest pace at the moment from Stefan Kung and Valve for Nart beats it very normally. But we are actually doing the really good pace despite having 81 time trial. We are going to be beating Wout van Aert by 4 seconds, so not a bad start at all from Josh Tarling, the Welshman riding for Team GB. 
What about Filippo Ganna? Smashes a town. 27 seconds faster than us. And now Remco Evenepoel, the final rider to pass through the first intermediate time check. His time will be just two seconds slower than Filippo Ganna. So we really need to increase the pace if we want to stand a chance of winning that gold. Currently we're fighting bronze with Wout van Aert. Second intermediate time check. Wout van Aert has done a 25.30. We have done 25.26. So again, four seconds faster than Wout van Aert. But it will be probably crushed by the riders behind. Filippo Ganna putting 47 seconds. The guy is in another machine when it comes to Olympics. And Remco Evenepoel probably a time close to that. His time is going to be, again, just two, three seconds behind as now we start a little bit of an uphill section with Josh Darling. Really need to increase the pace here if we want to make it back. We have some energy left for the final kilometers now. It's going to be a small downhill where we recover. I think we're going to have just enough, maybe not enough to sprint to the line. Two kilometers to go. Really have to slow down a little bit. Small downhill section here under the Flamme Rouge. Next to the finish line in Pont Alexander 3. We're going to run out of energy. And this is not a good sign. We're just going to beat Wout van Aert for 3 seconds. But no way that will performance will be enough for the gold medal. Philippe Ogana comes and 25 seconds just the gap. So he's actually very slow on that final bit. Can Remco Evenepoel beat or will it be Philippe Ogana who takes the gold here in Paris? It's going to be... Rem Cavanpool, no, Filippo Ogana takes gold by two seconds. We are going to have to settle for bronze with Josh Tarling. Unfortunately, the minus two really ruined us here. But it's still a medal with the Josh Tarling, a bronze medal at the age of 20. I mean, he skipped tour and everything for this. Same did Ghana. So, yeah, they, their preparation was purely for this gold and Filippo Ghana achieves it and it will go nicely with his other medals that he got from track earlier in the Tokyo Olympics but Remco Evenepoel the world champion loses by just two seconds if you want to see more pro cycling manager on the channel make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment down below what you want to see I'm also going to be playing the Olympics road race a few days after this video goes out so that will be also another great challenge where Matthew Vanderpool will be chasing an Olympic gold.